Hi folks, Lou here, and I'm going to talk about demography, human demography, because that has a lot to do with how history works. I am in fact reading a book right now called The Human Tide, which demonstrates this quite well as far as I've got into it. But I have some figures of mobilizations to sort of be a guide to people about the military manpower available to countries. Most of these are from the Balkan Wars, but uh, from other times as well. My rule of thumb in general, judging from what the United States did in World War I, is that about 10% of a population can be mobilized into military service. So in World War I, the population in the United States was 135 million and they had more than 13 million in the military. In the Balkan Wars, the first Balkan War, Bulgaria mobilized a total of 600,000 men out of a population of 4.3 million. Now that's especially high. And I have a breakdown of this, for example, 366 million in the active army. Then there were supplementary units, national militia, uh, the 1912 and 1913 levies, volunteers, border guards, all added up to 600,000. That's the highest modern or semi-modern uh, call up that I know of. Serbia, on the other hand, called up 255,000 men out of a population of 2.9 million. Greece had a population of two and two thirds million and their army had 125,000 and there were another 140,000 in the National Guard and Reserves for a total of 265,000, which is to say 10%. Now, this can differ over time and in different situations. For example, in ancient Greece, Megara, which was not a large city, but was allied with Corinth against Athens, had an army of one quarter of the free population. Of course, there were lots of slaves in ancient Greece. And that can help explain how Athens, which had a population of a quarter million in general, could have so many people involved in the army and especially in the Navy, because keep in mind, the rowers in Greek galleys were free men who were paid. They were not slaves. So uh, we can summarize this by saying 10% is a good number for modern times. And in older times, it may vary quite a bit. Um, the Hellenes didn't have this kinds of call-ups because they had professional armies and they used mercenaries. But the Greeks could call up an awful lot of people because part of a citizen's duty was to be armed and have the weapons to be able to fight. Thanks for listening.